everybody. Today I am all the way in the city of Culver City, California. I am standing here outside of the Bombay Frankie Company. This place sells amazing Indian food and they are located near the Westfield Culver City Mall. And so we're going to be here taking on a massive seven pound chicken tiki masala burrito here today. That is super cool. I've never had a chicken tiki masala burrito. But yeah, that's what they're known for. They're make, known for making these Indian burritos filled with all these different delicious um, Indian flavors. Their chutneys, mint, um, cumin flavors, spices, and anyway, I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Let's go inside this place and check it out. All right, guys, this is their menu, so that's what I'm talking about. They call their Indian burritos Frankies. So there's that chicken tikka masala flavor I was talking about, and a whole bunch of different stuff. They've got some snacks. They got samosas here and some potatoes and they've got the bowl options so that is super cool but yeah they're making the food right now cannot wait to try it so out so the way they make these frankies these indian burritos is they actually make the like their tortilla part is actually none so he's making the none for the burrito right now it's all handmade that is super cool rolling out the dough and now they put the dough on this machine and it's gonna cook in there Cool. How long does it take to cook? Like less than a minute. Less than a minute? Oh, yeah. so it's gonna be done really fast. Cool. And it's very thin too. That's awesome. Usually naan is a little bit thicker, right? Yeah. Yeah, right? This one is thin for the burrito, so it's gotta be almost like tortilla style. Now for a split. Do you put garlic on there? Garlic. Oh yeah, that'd be great to add some garlic. Yeah. Okay. This is the finished garlic naan. It smells so good. Look at all that garlic on that. Okay, awesome. So what are we putting in down there? Hummus? Okay, yeah. Cool. Chickpea spread. Nice. And then the next one is gonna be the pickled onions. Pickled onions. Yep. And then tomatoes. Tomatoes. Okay. A lot of healthy vegetables in this. Some more cucumbers. Nice. And then we're gonna add the potatoes. Potatoes. Wow. Nice. All right, star of the show right here. Look at all that chicken tiki masala. Oh my gosh. Wow. One. Oh, that's a lot of meat. Four, four huge scoops of chicken tiki masala, dude. And the next one is wow. going to be all the chutneys. All chutneys? Okay. The chutney is like the sauce, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So that's going to be the mint crema. Mint crema, okay. Tamarind bristles. A lot of sauce. Right now. Nice, that is looking so good, you guys. Wow. The last one? Oh, uh, the meat chutney. Okay, cool. Wow, big pile of food. All right, so. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> That's a huge, yeah. big burrito wrapped up. That's so thick. That is about the fattest burrito I've ever seen. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Put it all up, and now he's gonna cut this in half. <laughs> Oh my god, and look at that. Wow, so much sauce. Thank you, that looks incredible. Awesome, I cannot wait to try that out. All right guys, we just put it on the tray. I believe this is 10 pounds. Look, 10 pounds, oh my god. It, it is fat. I've never seen a fatter burrito. Jeez, that is thick. For comparison, you guys, this is a regular size. So we're gonna make a regular size burrito and I wanna compare it, how much bigger that other one is compared to the one we just made. All right. Yeah, this is a, yeah, the same, the chicken tikka masala. Yeah, that's only half a scoop of meat of what I got. 
compared to the full yeah. scoops. That's crazy. So this is comparison. <laughs> this is how a regular portion looks like. That's so funny. Oh my God, crazy. All right, guys, let's get started on this. Looks absolutely incredible. Let me put my hair up. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. I love chicken tiki masala. It's like probably one of my most favorite. I know it's like really mainstream, but you know, I'm not too well versed in Indian cuisine and I know chicken tiki masala is so good. So I'm so excited to try this out. I don't even know where to start. We're just going to pick up one of these meat pieces that fell up and let's get eating. Oh, this is going to be a heavy meal. I can already feel it. There's so much cream and flavor in here. I don't even know how I'm going to take a bite. Let's try taking a bite here with the naan. And that has soaked up all the flavor. Dude, all the chutneys and the vegetables mixed in together just tastes so good. It was actually so hard to eat a non-wrapped burrito like this. It's so thick. Alright, let's take a big bite here. I'm going to get curry all over my face. Okay. I'll try eating with the fork more. I think this is easier. Oh, the naan is really good. It's so cool they make the naan fresh here. I slowly turned this um, burrito kind of into a well. I'm just like digging in here to see what comes up. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, what's really interesting though is I never had um, Indian food without rice. There's actually no rice in here. <laughs> Because I really like the Indian rice. It soaks up all the curry flavor. I mean, I guess so does the naan, but I just like the rice a lot more. to the end of burrito it actually tastes so good because that's where most of the naan is and the naan you saw it's garlic so there's a lot of flavor in it <clears throat> it's different from a tortilla because the tortilla is just like, usually plain but this bread oh i love naan so much So much curry everywhere. It's easier just to eat it like this. I actually had a little bit of like Indian food lesson the other day. <clears throat> I learned that chutney is like their version of salsa. So all the chutneys mixed in here is like there's so much flavor. Like it's just all mixed in here. that and that was, that was crazy. I'm already like feeling the fullness because of all the sauce. And I'm eating the naan too. I'm not separating it because it just tastes so good together. Mm. 
The sauces, man. Indian curry, Indian sauces are so good. Oh my gosh, it's so deceiving. Mm, all right. I need to work on part two. If we'll even stay together. You know what? I think just so it's easier for me to eat, I'm just gonna dump it out on the tray because this is way too hard to eat. There's just so much foil. There you go. Look at that. Beautiful. It just like, it doesn't look like it's too much, but the filling is so heavy. It's so packed in there. And as I'm eating it, I'm just like, wow, this is very filling. Also chicken breast right so chicken breast is a lot more filling I think than um, like chicken thigh meat or something in my opinion at least <clears throat> oh my god all right we're just gonna let it all come out and eat in eat it like the way I would eat nan at an Indian restaurant. Well, this is a big piece of nan. And I just realized they really make a big piece. So we're gonna do like mini wrap. Oh my god, I'm too strong. I broke the fork. When I become so strong, <laughs> my muscles. <laughs> I do work out with weights though, so maybe I am strong. When I do my walking, I like hold weights and stuff. Actually, somebody did say that to me the other day when I was at a restaurant. They asked me if I do work out. I'm like, in fact, I do. <laughs> Just a little weights though. I'm not like. I don't like lift anything. I just like do more reps of like lower weights. A little bit of um, insight into my workout plan. Oh, these potatoes are actually really good. I'm just gonna eat it Indian style with my hands. It's too hard trying to eat it with a fork. <clears throat> it's just a big old pile of food. Very good food. But yeah, I do think this is a really cool con cool concept. Because usually when I think of Indian food, it's like a sit-down meal. Not really on the go. And of course, like the burritos aren't this big. The, the smaller burritos, the regular portion, you could actually eat it normally. And it's like more Indian food on the go. I do want to try their... um. There's samosas too, they look huge.
very filling. Indian food is so filling. It always is, and it's so deceiving. I really think it's because of the curry. The curry and the carbs. <clears throat> I really feel like it's all these chicken breasts, too. Chicken breasts are just filling. Almost there. Seven pounds of food and it's no joke. Especially with like heavy tasting food like this, there's so much flavor. See all the garlic on the nan. I'm excited. That's why I love the nan part.
our last little bit of mini wrap in there. Oh my gosh, we actually finished. Oh my gosh and we got through that oh my gosh that was so good and so filling oh my goodness um but yeah like i said i definitely want to try their samosas and um have that as like a mall snack <laughs> when you go around the mall but if you guys ever come to the culver city westfield you gotta, gotta check this place out because it's so good oh my goodness you love indian food oh definitely gotta try this all right guys so that was super yummy definitely check this place out we we'll leave me the place right now but i definitely got one of the samosas to go let me show you, this thing is so huge. Look at how big this is. This is the beef one. Oh my gosh. Alright, we're gonna try a little bite of this. It's kinda hard to do with one hand. Most of this is like super crispy. Let's try it. Mmm. Mm. Oh wow. Mm. That is really good. Mmm. Even after eating all that, that huge burrito, I can still eat this. This is actually really good. Mm. Wow. Anyway, now you guys know, if you want to check out a cool indie place, definitely come over here in Culver City. If you visit them, let them know I sent you. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And make sure to check out my website for all my merchandise. I've got clothing, prints, and stickers all up on there. And make sure to check out my social media, my Facebook page. Um, I do a lot of live streaming and on my Instagram page. I do a lot of giveaways and on my Twitter page. I also give a shout out to where I might be so you guys can kind of follow me on my journey, okay? And then check out my other videos. And again, make sure you subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.